Hello, I am Luxbrush, and here are my thoughts on Daring Do being real in the MLP universe. This seems to be a real catching point for some of the MLP analysts. I, for one, don't have a problem with it. Because to me, she still fits within the world the creators have made. She does not break the world to me, even with the events of the books now mostly being real. I say mostly, because by the looks of it, she still has fictional portions within the books. I get this from the cover of the book at the end of the episode where Dash is wearing a hat. I know, don't judge a book by its cover, but that's all I have to go on, since I can't read it myself. Now to break down why I don't feel that she breaks the canon of Friendship is Magic, I will do so by asking questions I asked myself while watching the episode. 1. Does Daring Do fit in the context of the Friendship is Magic world? In short, yes. She easily fits within the context of the world of Friendship is Magic. She does not have any extraordinary abilities outside the range of a normal Pegasus, aside from the quick healing, which she could have actually gotten from another magical artifact. 2. Does anything in the books we know of so far break any rules already set up in the canon? No. The idol in the first book seems to be just that, an idol. No powers whatsoever. And as for the rings in episode 4 of this season, they as well do not break preset rules of the canon. They were never stated to control the sun, just the heat in that jungle. So they don't break the canon rule of Celestia controlling the sun. 3. Does the fact that Daring seems to be mostly unknown work in the Friendship is Magic canon? Yes, the world of Equestria is quite large, so she can easily be doing extraordinary things, without really being known much outside of the books. Look, we're talking about a society that mostly relies on a postal service to get their news, and not one that has an always-on info stream to keep up to date with what's going on in the world. By the way, this also explains why a lot of ponies don't know who the main six are. Celestia would know about Daring and her adventures, but she would consider it a service for Equestria. She would not stop her unless it was something that needs her or one of the other princesses to handle it instead. Remember, a good ruler delegates tasks and doesn't try to do all of them themselves, especially when the delegate is more suited for the task. In conclusion, the premise of Daring Do being real and the Friendship is Magic canon does not work against it. It just enhances an already rich world with more backstory and more characters. This was my opinion and a little bit of headcanon. Okay, probably a lot of headcanon. Wow, I actually wrote a script for this one. And yes, what I'm saying right now is in the script. Hmm. That's quite meta of me, isn't it? As always, hope to talk with you soon. Oh, and the video you've been watching is something I've been meaning to do since I started this channel. It's a time lapse of me drawing Daring Do from a scene in the episode. The full length video has no audio. I would love to put some music from the Ponyverse in the video, but I don't know where I can find any where I can ask for permission to use it. And the link to the full video is in the description.